my name is Anoriel and welcome to my channel. Here we do reactions, mostly on BLN Gale content and mostly from Asian countries. Today we are watching trailers and we are watching GMMTV's all of the 2023's trailers. So this I have understand from all the talks about it. It's the most anticipated series from the trailer drop. It's only friends. And I, I'm i lousy with names, but I think it's first Katao. There are a lot of people in this, a lot of BL things, and it's messy and a bit dark. And I haven't watched the trailer. I just, you know, everybody talked about this everywhere. Um, it was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what is going on? Um, so, yeah. I heard it's... Uh, it's a bit crazy, it's a bit unusual for GMM TV. You know, a few years ago we got a kiss, maybe, in the last episode. Then we started getting kissing at episode 5. And now... This. Whatever this is. But I heard it's crazy. Um... So yeah, I, I I I guess I'm just gonna watch it and see for myself. Um, I'm a bit scared, but I think I probably will like it because I, I like messy things sometimes when it's the right kind of mess. Um, so let's hope uh, I will die right in and I will talk to you afterwards. Yeah, so I see a lot of familiar faces. Sounds like the normal colleagues experience. Okay. <laughs> so everybody's sleeping with everybody. Got it. Sounds like the normal colleagues experience. นี่มึงเรียนมาสี่ปีมึงไม่เคยเอาใครเลยเหรอวะก็กูมาเรียนป่ะวะกูไม่ได้มาหาแฟนเดี๋ยวกูจัดให้มิวนี่ท็อปเ
uh, I mean, it wasn't a bit of a mess. Like the trailer isn't the the trailer looks really good, but the story is, you know, it's messy. It's kind of the normal college experience, I would say. But maybe mine wasn't normal. I don't know. But yeah, there were a lot of things going on there. Um, crushes on people you shouldn't have crushes on and uh, they cheating and yeah. Um, we all been young. Let's just say that. We all been young. Um, maybe you had a perfect college like him who's been there for four years. I did not. <laughs> so I can relate. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's about time that we get to see a bit more of real life, I would say, because as I always say in my reaction, young people do stupid shit. It's the way we learn. <laughs> then we grow up. And then we realize we are a bit more accountable for our actions. And sometimes maybe we should not do stupid shit. But young people do stupid shit. And yeah, as long as it's two consensual adult, do stupid shit, people. If you are like 20, do some stupid shit. I promise you. You might regret it like off right afterwards, but a few years down the line, you will see it as life experience. And um, I th heard a lot of people saying that, you know, on their deathbed, the thing that they are regretting is the things they didn't do, not the things they did. The things they did were just life. It's what they didn't do that was, yeah. Then again, you, you, then again, you don't have to be a shitty person about it. You don't have to actively hurt other people and making them feel pain and, you know, all of that. But experience stuff. Go for it. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a lot of betrayal, a lot of jealousy, a lot of a little bit of cheating, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit, you know. Pretty normal stuff, I would say, especially in that age. Um, yeah. I think it's going to be a fun ride, hopefully. It looked fun, but then again, that was a three-minute trailer. I don't know what 14 episodes will do to this, if it's 14 episodes. But hopefully they keep that level of energy up through the entire series, because that could be fun. Um, yeah, so, and I'm happy, but because, as I said, I, I tweeted a little bit about this, that Game MTV very much stuck to the established, now established CPs that they have, and there weren't, you know, a pairing that you weren't, they didn't switch it up. They kept their partners, like, you know. So at least in this series, they're gonna kiss people that aren't their partner. Or at least hook up or whatever they're doing. But, which is nice. Because, as I said, CPs are good and all of that. I get that there are money in that. And that is how it works. And it could have tremendous benefits for people. Uh... But as someone who has theater training, the whole CP system for me, it's, for me, it's a bit weird because I know what happens to an actor who is stuck with the same ensemble or the same people and always playing a love interest with the same person. You freaking stagnate. You're telling the same relationship story over and over and over again and sooner or later you need to break apart from that to grow as an actor to get better um either take either roles in straight series or you know shift those cp couple up and i get that most of them are pretty new they established in 2022 most of them 
so I get that. Um, they they can have a year. They can they can be CPA couples during twenty twenty three, sure. But I really really hope that next year during this event we will get a few of those. Huh? Didn't see those two coming together in a series. That will be interesting. So at least we got this series where they will play, you know, that kind of dynamic with other people because they need that to grow. And a few of those these actors are pretty new. They started like this this year, 2022, to get really popular and to get into series like this. So they need that. Yeah. So from that perspective, I'm also pretty happy about this series because it's going to be good for them as actors to be able to grow. Um, but yeah, it looks interesting. I have no clue when it's going to be aired because, yeah, you know, everything is still a little bit uh, because of that freaking thing that goes around the world and makes everything not super all the time. But that was it. Uh, I will talk to you next time. Bye.